So day 138, back out on trail. So we've got four and a half miles to get to the Grafton Notch Trailhead, where a subscriber to the channel is going to be picking me up, uh, allowing me to stay at their house tonight, get cleaned up, resupplied and all that. So that'll be nice. Uh, we do have Old Spec Mountain here in the way, uh, but it's just the one mountain today, not the several like we had yesterday. So that, that'll be nice. It is a bit of a climb, but hey, we'll get it. So anyways, we're going to wander down the trail to Grafton Notch. Another beautiful day out here. Very, very nice. So the summit of Old Speck Mountain is actually 0.3 miles up that way. Uh, the Appalachian Trail turns left here. Uh, I'm not going to go up to the summit. I've been up there before. Uh, actually, I think, I'm not sure if I have a video up of that or not, but in either case, uh, there is a fire tower up there. Really nice views and so forth, but I think we got the same views pretty much here back along. And uh, I don't want to keep Gary waiting at the trailhead for me, so we're going to forge ahead here. Since the summit, this has been a nice little mellow walk through the woods. <laughs> uh, this downhill is much, much better than the ones that we have been doing, that's for sure. Just coming down through here, and I remembered when I uh, went up a couple of years ago and tagged the summit of Old Spec. Coming back, there was a couple of through hikers sitting here next to this water source having lunch and I stopped and talked to them for a couple minutes, gave them my remaining snacks and so forth. Uh, they were very appreciative. But yeah, kind of cool coming through here now as a through hiker myself. Well, it's only nine o'clock, so I'm gonna be way early. <laughs> Just point two left to get to this uh, trailhead down here, but that's okay, it's a nice day out, so I'll sit down here and edit videos. Gotta do it at some point, so might as well do it down here. Day 139, back out on trail. I uh, had an awesome time with Gary and Kathy last night and this morning. What a nice couple. <laughs> they, uh, well, Gary picked me up at the trailhead yesterday. Uh, brought me back to their house in South Paris. Uh, had a big pot of chili waiting, so enjoyed that. I uh, got showered, uh, laundry, all that. Got my stuff laid out in their garage to dry out. And then uh, went out for barbecue last night. Ice cream. Let's see, what else? Nice, comfortable bed to sleep in. <laughs> then this morning... Uh, Kathy made up some stuffed French toast. Oh, that was really good. And uh, I'm actually packing out a couple leftover pieces. I'm going to enjoy that up on top of Bald Paint Mountain. With, enjoy it with a view. <laughs> Very nice. And then, of course, Gary dropped me off here at the trailhead again this morning. Very, very nice. Had a great time. Uh, they actually offered to allow me to stay there, well, for as long as I wanted to, basically. But they uh, offered to slack pack me. Uh, which I, there was one I was, would have really liked to have done it, but it, even without a pack, I think it'd be pushing it a little bit too much for, for me because it'd end up being about 20 miles. And even without a pack, I don't, I mean, I could probably do it, but it'd be a really, really long day. I'd probably be paying for it the next, <laughs> tomorrow. Uh, like I say, 20 miles, I just think it's too much for me uh, in this terrain. Uh, the other option was like 10 miles to an, to another road. Uh, but I'd like to try to get a few more than that today. Because it's going to be supposed to be really nice weather today. Then tomorrow it's going to be rain. So uh, I'm going to try to get as many in today as I can. And uh, go from there. So, But like I say, really, really enjoyed my time with them. Very nice couple. So anyways, uh, we're going to... Move on down the trail here 
and see what we can get done today. Well, we're about point two from the summit of Bald Pate West Peak. And I mean, it's a decent climb certainly, but at least we're not pulling ourselves up by tree roots and tree branches or clambering over boulders to get to the summit. <laughs> it's back to a somewhat normal trail, so that seems kind of nice. Although that other stuff's kind of fun once in a while. Uh, it's uh, nice to be able to walk upright <laughs> going up a mountain once in a while as well. Made it to the summit of Ball Pate Mountain, the West Peak. Uh, tree covered. I think there is an opening right down here where we should get a view. So that will be nice. Okay, yeah, this is beautiful. Look at the low clouds over there. What a beautiful day. Very, very nice. Yeah, gonna set up here for a little bit, enjoy the view, and enjoy a piece of leftover stuffed French toast that Gary and Kathy sent out with me. So, very, very nice. Perfect day for it, too. Ooh, this climb makes the old calf muscles burn pretty good. Uh, geez. Still going up, but it's actually pretty, pretty nice walking. Just, you know, obviously a little steep. So makes you work for it, that's for sure. Well, made it to Bald Pate East Peak. Great views, that's for sure. Well, that's the direction we're headed. Sandy River range lays over in that area someplace. <laughs> that will be our next resupply point. Hey, I made it to the Fry Notch Lean To. I'm going to stop here and get a little bit of water and then we're going to continue on. Wow, oh, this has been a nice little easy walk through the woods for a while now <laughs> oh, could get used to this this is nice no it's not gonna last but <laughs> guess we'll enjoy it while we can yeah sitting here at the brook having a little lunch got my uh, spam and my gummy bears <laughs> fantasizing about the chili i had yesterday with gary and kathy oh that tasted good well we got a pretty little pond with a little waterfall coming into it very nice. Oh, that'd be a nice place to take a soak. Yeah, that was cool. Just crossed East Bee Hill Road, and a woman gave me a blueberry muffin. So, <laughs> oh, that's good. I'm actually packing it out with me here, because I just had lunch. Uh, I chatted with her for a couple minutes, and uh, we'll enjoy that blueberry muffin a couple miles down the trail here. So, it's a fact that blueberry muffins taste better in the woods anyways than beside a road. We're here at Surplus Pond. See fish jump every once in a while. Nice place to hang out for a bit. Well, we made it to the summit of Wyman Mountain. It's mostly tree covered, but we do have this one view through the trees. So in about a mile, there's the Hall Mountain lean-to. I think I'm going to swing in there and get some... Something to eat, just a snack, more or less. And then a mile beyond that is, uh, I think it's called Sawyer Brook. I think that's what I'm going to call it a day. Uh, 
gonna be end up being a pretty decent day i think miles drives right around i don't know 17 or so maybe miles i'll figure it out uh when we get there but yeah today's been going along good it's been pretty mellow terrain uh overall i mean we had that climb up the bald pate this morning and uh there is going to be a big downhill getting to sawyer brook but uh i'm sure we can make it it's only uh probably quarter past four or something like that so we got a couple more miles and we'll be there so that will be good Uh, yeah, this site will work right next to the stream. Oh, check it out. There's a picnic table. <laughs> Jesus. Ah, I got it made. Very nice. Yep, this is home for the night. There, 17.7 miles. Really happy with that. Seems nice to get some <laughs> bigger mileage here for a change. The terrain was much, much better today than it has been for quite a little while, so... Yeah, uh, weather was really nice too, so that certainly helps. Uh, trails were pretty dry, so. Anyways, I uh, got the tarp all set up, found a nice little spot here, so should be good to go. Gonna go get a little bit of water and call it a night. So, thanks once again, guys, for watching, following along, commenting. Really appreciate it, and I'll see you tomorrow.